Y'all, I ain't never seen a Cali boy Harlem shake so much. Like, every time we see him, he's just wiggling his arms. Like, it's kind of funny. He takes a lot of inspo from his dad, and I get it. A lot of people think he's trying to be another Diddy without trying to find his own individuality. And everything he looks like just looks like a cosplay of Diddy to some people. If you don't know, Christian Combs is an American rapper, singer, and model who was born on April 4th, 1998 in Los Angeles, California. As we all know, he is the son of the legendary Diddy, who is the CEO of Bad Boys. He's hit almost every catalog in the book as a producer, an entrepreneur, and a rapper. Also going by his various famous names as Puff Daddy, P Diddy, and Diddy. If you can't tell, Christian looks up to his father a lot. Diddy is one of the most influential rappers spanning over decades. If you disregard all the negative press or whispers in the industry, Diddy has accomplished a lot in his career. He's been the pioneer witnessing greatness and being the right hand man through it all. He has truly built his empire from the ground up as an A&R executive at Uptown Records and ended up founding his own label Bad Boy Entertainment. Signing the most influential artists like the Notorious B.I.G., Faith Evans, and Mace, all who are extremely popular and still get talked about decades later. And let me know if you guys want a video on that because the story behind Bad Boy is crazy stupid wild. But Diddy himself is a go-getter and a jack of all trades. Once he really solidified himself in music, he ventured off into different fields. Even fashion trends, like his own clothing line Sean John, like consider Sean John the Yeezy of its era. He had his own build. Diddy's impact on hip hop culture and fashion is significant, and he played a vital role in popularizing certain fashion trends, music styles, and the hip hop lifestyle. His rich boy aesthetic also influenced his own son. The 90s aesthetic is such a staple that will forever live on. The fashions and the looks that were influenced by the height of hip hop and R&B culture is very unique to itself. It's a cool vibe and gave off more of an authentic appeal. Diddy himself is a very active father and would regularly take Kim and Christian to his shows. Christian grew up watching his father perform. Other people see that for you. Like I'm overwhelmed with joy because I like I'm looking at him mm -hmm. and I'm staring at him <laughs> and I'm just remembering like when he was on tour with me when he was like three years old yeah. and for his birthday that he just wanted to be with his daddy on mm -hmm. tour. Before I would end the show, he would like break out in a tantrum and start crying unless he could get on the stage. So to see him chase his dream and to see like all of the obstacles that he had to overcome without my help and then him doing it, you know, it's just really mind blowing. So it makes sense that his father was definitely the influence of his own style and identity. And that's actually one thing that people don't like about Christian. He just seems like he's trying to cosplay his father. The way Christian raps, you can hear it in his tone. He has that smooth rap style like his dad. I just talk that Guapanese, that's my language. I just put some Cartier's on my main page and some of the other bad boy entertainers. It's calm and collected with a bit of a New York style accent. All of his songs have a 90s nostalgic vibe to it. All of his songs. He only uses beats and hooks that attribute to what Diddy would have done in his early years, which is good. Like his songs are actually good. It's a vibe and definitely is listenable. But his whole style embodies the New York 90s aesthetic. Even though he was born in LA, he is highly influenced by the Harlem Bronx area where his dad made his mark. His music videos has to be one of the biggest takeaways of this. Again, with the early 90s aesthetic from using influences from artists like Lil' Kim, he really appreciates the look. In his most popular song, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, he takes bits from Lil' Kim's song, Crush, where he takes from the different colorway transitions throughout the video. In his song, Flies in a City, it's the same concept. He sounds like his father and he's in New York, surrounded by the tall towers. His outfits in the video embodies the New York style with the big puffer jackets and the hats. It's aesthetically New York fashion. In Love You Better featuring Chris Brown, he's in the city. The theme of the video is the block party type of vibe in New York. <laughs> the transitions replicate the 90s style videos rapping in the camera. Christian sitting on the throne using inspiration from Biggie. It's very New York. But from the looks of it, he looks like he's cosplaying his dad. And honestly, his whole life, people have been telling him he looks just like his father. And he definitely does. 
He has the same features as Diddy with sprinkles of Kim. He is the perfect replica out of all his siblings. Because Diddy has a lot of children that all kind of do their own thing, so there's more flack towards his way because he goes towards his dad's direction the most. We all know those kids only experience the finer things of life as they should and have connections that some people wish they had. All of them are Nepo babies, but they have semi found their own footing in what they like to do. We know Quincy has had his foot in acting and really got his shine in the movie Brotherly Love and Dope. He has dabbled in music, but acting and modeling has taken him farther, which it should because he's fine as hell. Fine. Delilah and Jesse are the twin pairs who are aspiring to become models. Justin has a degree from UCLA and he has his acting debut in season 3 of Power Book 2. And he has hosted his own show, Respectfully Justin, where he did interview famous guests. And Chance, who is still young and super gorgeous, is aspiring to be an actress. And Christian, he's pursuing music, but is his daddy's style. It's fine to be inspired and take bits and pieces, but he wholeheartedly embodies his style, which doesn't seem authentic to himself and the audience that watches, especially when he's on stage with his dad. We love a father-son duo, but his inspiration has seemingly become his identity and he parallels everything Diddy does from the Diddy Bop dances and how he dresses. There's actually a lot of people that wish they were born in and experienced the 90s and Christian just seems like he's one of them, living the fantasy life of his father trying to replicate his inspiration. Christian is talented, but he can diverge and find himself a little bit more outside of Puffy. This year's VMAs was a celebration to Diddy's nostalgic songs and legacy and seeing Christian perform Mace's verse, the original fans did not like it because it was just two Diddy's on the stage. It's like you are your daddy's child, but you ain't your daddy. Who is Christian Combs outside of Diddy's persona? I think it's amazing that he looks up to his father and his dad inspires him so much he wants to continue the bad boy legacy, but it's also caused a lot of failed careers and mistrust. If you're gonna continue on the name and be the next gen, try to be a little more personally authentic cause he got the talent for sure. And with his connections, he'll make it. But if he found more of his own type of it factor, he'll be more accepted as King Combs. Man, I wanted to ask you man, you must be so sick and tired of this Nepo baby debate that everyone's having. Everyone's coming for kids of famous people and nepotism. Yeah. You must be so sick and tired of that debate. Uh, not really, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown, so you got a big leg legacy to fill up too. Oh, I love that. And right now, bad boy be number one. Let's go, baby. Oh, really? Well, that concludes today's video, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and show me some love. Let me know down below, do you guys think Christian Combs is trying to be his daddy or he's just taking inspiration? Make sure you comment and let me know. Have a good day, guys. Toodles.